This is Gene Key, KTTD News. ConnectAmarillo.com reports Potter County officials are investigating an inmate death from Friday afternoon. The Potter County Sheriff's Office said at 1.35 p.m., medical personnel were called into the booking room where an inmate was having a seizure. According to the Sheriff's Office, the inmate began having another seizure and stopped breathing. Medical personnel then started chest compressions and paramedics arrived. The inmate was transported to the hospital where he was pronounced dead at 2.40 p.m. Authorities said the Special Crimes Unit is investigating this incident. The identity of the inmate has not been released as the next of kin has not been notified. Newschannel10.com reports a new water production concept is on the drawing boards at Amarillo's Public Works Department. The idea may sound off the wall, but it happens all across the state. During peak water usage seasons, Amarillo distributes more than 80 million gallons of water per day. According to city officials, one of the main issues is cost. It estimates it would cost the city of Amarillo $10 million for a new treatment plant. Brad Jones with the EPA, who says the practice is common, the water goes through a rigorous testing process before ending up in your sink. The city of Big Springs is next on the list to start this procedure. ConnectAmarillo.com reports Happy State Bank has announced expansion plans to open its 29th location in Lubbock. The announcement comes from bank chairman and CEO J. Pat Hickman. A branch application has been filed with the Texas Department of Banking and the FDIC. The initial branch office will be located at 8001 Quaker Suite N. The application process takes about 45 days for approval. Until then, the Happy State Bank location in Lubbock will operate as a loan and deposit office. Happy State Bank is currently celebrating its 104th year of operation. If you would like the latest Dumas, Panhandle, and Texas news on your mobile device, you can follow KDDD News on YouTube. Simply search KDDD or Gene Key on Facebook or Twitter. This is Gene Key, KDDD News.